It is a pleasure to say that I'm joined in the studio by Charlie. Hello, my lovely. How are you? Hi, yeah. Um, I'm great. I'm great today, yeah. Can you briefly tell us a bit uh, about about yourself and how you got into music? Because you are a solo well, singer-songwriter now, aren't you? I am now, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It first started, really, I got a bunch of my mates together and um, we started a band that was quite alternative, Picture Frames. Um, I was the lead singer and the bassist for that. We were going for about four years it was a fair while, yeah. Yeah. And, and you we, gigged a lot, didn't you, around Chichester? Yeah, we made a... Yeah, we did, mm. yeah. We're mainly situated in Chichester. Then we slowly gr- branched out to Brighton. And we, um, we made a... We made three EPs. And, but then yeah. you decided to uh, go your separate ways. I went my separate ways, yeah, because... Um, we all, we all split off. We wanted different things in the right. end. We sort of matured what, musically, and musically. or just in life? A bit of both, right. actually, because um, the guitarist is one of my best mates called Mike Goldsmith. Um, he was the lead singer and um, one of the sole writers as well of the band. And he left to um, go to uni to study. So um, it's sort of, yeah, we all sort of matured and, and the drummer wasn't really into it anymore. He wanted to make more uh, metal sort of uh, music and we weren't really shame. into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, so you all well. just kind of grew apart and went your separate ways. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Which is a shame. Um, so you're, you're solo now. Yeah, I'm solo now. Um, I'm writing... It's, it all started sort of when I was in Picture Frames. Right. Um, I started writing music on the sidelines and then showing the guys and they were like, this is really good. But we did try a few of the tracks out, some of the really early tracks and they just didn't really work or fit in with with the sound we were trying to get. Right. Because your music Um, is very kind of bare bones. It's very minimal and sort of quite... That's um, the charm of it, isn't it? I suppose that's what, hence it didn't really work in the band. Yeah, no, yeah, it's it's, it's very minimal and sort of stripped down. Um, I'm trying to get sort, sort of that haunting sound. A lot of people have said it's 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 very sort of dark it's quite sinister yeah but we like it. <laughs> it's trying to, i was trying to trying to get that in my new ep definitely i was definitely trying to fantastic well we're gonna up. hear a track now so everyone can hear for themselves uh we'll start with petroleum if that's okay we can start with petroleum super yeah. um before we hear it can you just tell us a bit about the song uh petroleum came about when i was uh, just sitting in my room really and um <laughs> <laughs> as you do and uh i picked up my acoustic and um i came up with this like really cool riff it's basically sort of if there was one track on on personal haunts that um sort of signified every other track it would be petroleum it's sort of like an autobiography sort of of how my current life is my current situation how i how i sort of see the world in sort of a nutshell i guess Across West Sussex, you are listening to Spirit FM. I am still joined by Charlie Mooney. Beautiful song. That was Petroleum by yeah. your good self. Uh, now, how different is it coming from a band and then being totally solo, especially when it comes to, to gigging? <laughs> it's nerve-wracking. Very nerve-wracking. Because you've got, you got all your friends. Like, you, got your, you, you get on with them, them people in the band mm. and they're sort of like... They're with you along the way, just, you know, sort of supporting you. 
and they're having fun at the same time with you egging you on encouraging mm. you and yeah, and, yeah. and then of... i suppose that safety net as such yeah is, is gone now hasn't yeah, it and you have that drive and that yeah. that oomph sort of thing and then when you're you're put on the stage on your own and you see all these faces and you're like oh i can't mess up anyone <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean you can't hide can't, behind the others yeah i can't yeah. be sloppy i can't you know just be sort of yeah but sort then surely that's a good thing though it makes you up your game i guess so yeah <laughs> I've, I've got some good feedback from my first gig I did. I've only done one gig so far. Oh wow! Um, that was in Brighton. That went quite it went down quite well. Um, I got about forty people that turned out for it. It wasn't too bad. Fantastic. So. Um, who would you say as a musician and a songwriter? Who would you say you're influenced by? Um, mainly um, for my solo stuff. There's there's a band called Neutral Milk Hotel. They, they're quite quite an old band um they're not going anymore but his jeff mangan's way of writing really inspired me to pick up an acoustic and sort of do it for myself they're just great i'm a big smiths fan right uh, joy division yeah as well <laughs> I, I guess yeah. so how do you go about songwriting what what process do you go through what inspires you for your lyrics uh, the the lyrics that i'm making now uh, are more almost quite more personal i don't really like that fact but i, f- oh. I feel I don't know, yeah. I, I I do like it, but that's the only way I can I can sort of address it really. It's it's more it's what I see around me, what what I listen to, what I what I feel about certain situations. But I suppose you've got to delve from your personal experience because the music you're writing now is really quite emotive. Mm-hmm. So you need to you need to anchor it on emotion. So I suppose yeah. it's going to have to be personal, really. Yeah, yeah, it's, de- it's definitely yeah. Well, we're going to hear your second track now. Uh, this is Natives. Yeah. Again, yeah. can you tell us a little bit about the song? Natives was the f- it's the first track on the e- my new EP, and it's also the first track I ever made as a, on my on my own. Um, it came about when I was in Ireland. Um, I've got a lot of uh, Irish history, and I went to Ireland. And um, I went to a museum actually, and it was it was full of uh, all these stuffed animals, and um, I was just really, you know, I didn't I didn't like it, mm. and it's it's sort of about about closure and being taken away from a, a certain habitat, you know, like not not directly any ha- habitat, but it's just being being taken away from something that's that was that was yours, and then put in so- something that's just completely away from you know, almost alien yeah yeah an alien environment mm. it's definitely that yeah Sequences 
You are listening to Spirit FM, playing Natives from Charlie Mooney. He does still join me, uh, a fabulous local unsigned musician. Uh, now, Charlie, if people want to find out more about you, or uh, well, actually first, let's talk about your EP. Okay. Uh, what's it called? It's called Personal Haunts. And you have just finished this? I have just finished it, yeah. It took it took a w- longer than it should have. But yes, yeah, so I have just <laughs> Always finished Always the it. way. Uh, so when or can people get their hands on it? They can get their hands on it literally now. Oh, um, really? It's, it's, yeah, if you look around, it's it's on the internet. I put it up on um, a site called Mediafire, which is like a file sharing site. You can sort of download it for free there. Um, oh, wow. if you If you talk to me as well, if you know, email me or whatever, I can, I'm can. i sure I can post one through the... And then you get the album art as well. So. Oh, bless you. Uh, so how can people get hold of you if they want to find out more, you know, when you're gigging and whatnot? Uh, what's the easiest way? The easiest way is probably Facebook. I'm, right. al- I'm always on that. I've got a SoundCloud as well. I usually put all my stuff on there. But I also use, I heavily use YouTube as well. If, like, I've got a new demo or a new song, you can you can usually find my stuff on there because I just sit down uh, and put a camera on and just do it, do oh, it like that. Yeah, it's, it's quite raw some of the stuff on youtube but yeah that's that's where you find my first stuff if i've got anything new coming out so it's literally yeah. a case of pretty much just tapping charlie mooney into a search engine <laughs> yeah and pretty then, much and then something will and come then up, come up. Yeah. Yeah, it might not be the right thing but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. bless you oh uh, and you've got a gig at the chichester inn haven't you that's have, next yeah. month yeah yeah with um one of my good friends uh chased by dogs they're a they're a really cool band yeah Fantastic. So people can catch you then, but in the meantime, they can find out all the information they need to. Uh, Facebook. Yeah. Best bet. Yeah. Brilliant. Charlie, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.